Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, let's let's get into it. A few minutes guys, because I know this is this is a very controversial topic because the person we're talking about is a very uh, controversial figure in the very in, in a very wrong way. There's nothing wrong with being uh, a champion of truth. There's nothing wrong with being a champion of democracy, a champion of the greater good. There's nothing wrong with that. But but there's everything wrong with a person standing on a platform and creating falsities for his benefit and only for his amusement as well as the ability to just cause confusion if you're the type of person where everywhere you go you you cause unrest everywhere you go you, you cause an atmosphere of uncomfortability then something's wrong with you let's let me take you all the way back because I, this is something i've been saying about him for many many years i mean i've my concerns in fact to give you a very personal note um my concerns about him first arose when whenever i heard him the first time i heard him speak about vespas and the manner in which he spoke about vespas he basically, many of you know, Vespas was a university student that was killed in very unfortunate circumstances. The police raided the University of Zambia. Her room was full of smoke and she died uh, from inhalation of smoke, you know, as a, as a direct consequence of a, of a botched, botched police raid at Unza. This is common knowledge. Everybody knows this. Now, what was sad about that incident was that you know, here it is, a young girl who had, who had been killed under these very unfortunate circumstances, and yet Tayali felt it okay for him to make the most insensitive statement about someone that I, I'd ever heard. I mean, he, he basically said, and remember, this was during the NPF. This happened during the tyrannical reign of the NPF, the Notorious Patriotic Front. They were in government. Tayali says, well, she died because, you know, it was her fault. She shouldn't have been irresponsible. She should not have joined the UPND. So she died. Basically, she died because she was irresponsible, is what Tayali said. And that was the first time I looked at him and I realized this guy is up to no good. This guy thrives on insensitive innuendo and controversy. This guy is the type of guy that, do you know people that, that, that cause a fight? Okay, they cause a fight and, 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 and they instigate one person against another. They start fighting and then they stand on the side and they watch the fight and they enjoy it. I realized that, that he's like that. That's the type of person he is. He's the type of person that would create controversy. And there are people like that in families. You know, people like that in families, they pit family members against each other. You know, they'll say, and then the family members start fighting and the person stands there with a big grin on their face as the family members fight. This is how he is. He's the type of person that would walk into PF. The reason the patriotic front, the notorious patriotic front, one of the main reasons, one of the main components of why the PF are in the mess that they're in today is in part because of him everywhere he goes he creates division everywhere he goes he creates discombobulation everywhere he goes he creates a spirit of angst anxiety mistrust fear 
Now, such a person to you may seem inconsequential, but against the backdrop of the grand scheme of things, such a person is dangerous. So here it is. Let me fast forward. Again, during the, the, the PF, the same guy stood up one morning and, and all he went on, he stood on the highest hilltop. He said, oh, I got something to say. He stood on the highest mountain. He said, oh, boy, I tell you, I got some stuff that'll curl your hair or make it straight if it's curled. I've got documentation. I have proof beyond a reasonable doubt that this man who wants to run as president, I've got proof in my hand, and I'm going to photocopy this proof, and I'm going to show and demonstrate to you that this man dubiously obtained a piece of land, and he used his undue influence to do it, and he disenfranchised the family while doing it and oh, oh there he was you'd go to the anti-corruption commission he went he went everywhere he went to the, the the land registrar he did everything well come to find out that whole screaming and hooping and hollering was it landed with a with a hollow thud there was nothing there but this is what he caused he set in motion, and I want you to get this. This is something that, you know, because in Zambia, you have to explain like a three-year-old for some people to get it. If you, if you wax eloquent, some people, so, you, so I got to break it down to the rudimentary level. Tayali set in motion a series of events, you know, that, that led to the death of Nsama Nsama. Let me explain. So he went on this crusade that no, Hagainde Hichilima got this land dubiously. He disenfranchised the family. I've got proof. He goes to anti-corruption commission. The, the complaint is lodged. Hagainde Hichilima is summoned. They, he's called. They call him. Supporters go to provide solidarity. UPND supporters accompany Hakainde Hichilema because he, he was summoned as a direct consequence of this thing that Tayali had created. It was a falsity. It wasn't true, but cr Tayali created it. And he was purely funded and this is let me sidestep here before i finish that story please allow me to sidestep and, and really say something here do you know when tayali do you know when you can tell that tayali's been paid when he shows an unusual enthusiasm for something in English, an unusual enthusiasm for something. But the moment you hear that tone, we should have to Zangen. Kabidi has to please the paymasters. So it's never about conviction. It's never about the greater good. It's never, never, ever, ever, with him, it's never, never about the, the, the good of the country. No, no, no. It's all about self-aggrandizement. How much money are you going to pay me? That's all it's about. So if it's about that, which it is, so the issue of patriotism doesn't come in. So anyway, let me continue. So... You know, the police call Hakainde Hichilema. Hakainde Hichilema is accompanied by his supporters at that same venue over there at the high court. It's on video. Everybody knows this. You've seen the video. The police arrive. They start firing tear gas, gunshots. My dear friend, whom I knew. Now, some of you, you know, 
he, you didn't know Nsama Nsama. You didn't know him. To many of you, Nsama was just a, is a name on a, on a piece of paper. To some of you, Nsama was just a, 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 a lawyer over there at the magistrate's court. But to me, he was my friend. I knew him. He was my friend. Nsama was near that area when the police began to fire shots and he was hit in the head. Him and another gentleman. I think the other gentleman's name was Wakaunda. Wakaunda. He died that day as a direct consequence of a series of events that were set in motion by Chilufya Tayali. That's a fact. In law, it's called the but-for causation. I've explained this to you many, many times. But-for causation. I'll give you an example, and I give you this example all the time. A few years ago, Donald Trump incited the American public to storm Capitol Hill. Remember that? Donald Trump said, let's go and storm Capitol Hill. So if my American card does the video, Five people were killed that day. Five people died that day. Donald Trump didn't physically kill them, but he set in motion a series of events that led to the death of those five people so it is accurate to say but for donald trump those five people would not have died in the same vein by the same token but for chilufia tayali nsama nsama would not have died that day because Diali set in motion a series of events that resulted in the death of Nsama and Wakaunda. Do you get that? Did you catch that? Now, if you push against that and say, no, Diali didn't shoot, he didn't pull the trigger, you're missing the point. We're talking about but for causation, cause and effect. That's what we're talking about. So, Again, when that happened, and I heard that my friend had been killed in those circumstances, again, I raised the red flag. I said, this guy's going to be a danger, man. Why are we looking at this guy and, and not doing something about it? And now here, a few days ago, some intruders broke into his yard Nobody is celebrating that Tayali was attacked. Nobody. Any well-meaning Zambian is not going to celebrate that a fellow human being was attacked. But let's not lose sight of the fact that those things happen every day. The police have to get to the bottom of that. They have to do their part to find out who exactly those guys are or who they were. Because the police are duty-bound to protect every single solitary citizen. We know that. But because this guy is such a sensationalist, oh, he'll turn around and say, the army came to kill me. Zambia army came to kill me. He stands on a platform, breaks the door down. I've got something to say. Oh, I got a story to tell you. You're not going to believe this. The army wanted to kill me. Well, how do you know it was the army? Well, I heard my garden boy say it. Are you serious? Yeah. My garden boy said, you know, this is the army. We're going to tie you up. And not only that, I saw the types of guns that they have. Only the army has those guns. The most ridiculous argument I've ever heard in my life. So here it is. Just because your gardener says something, it doesn't mean that it's so. I mean, it's like me. I walk up to you and say, guess what? What? Yesterday, on my way to work, I saw a pink elephant flying across Findical House. What? Yeah, I did. 
I saw a pink elephant flying across Findico House. You would not believe. Now, would you be a, a responsible citizen if you go to court and say, well, you know, well, I did see that pink elephant. I mean, he, he said he saw it. In the same way, how in the world, just because your gardener says it was the army, it doesn't mean that it's so. Even if he did say it, it doesn't mean that it's so. The bottom line is that the authorities, the police, the wing that is tasked to deal with that, a.k.a. the police, they'll deal with that. And we all need to, to know what the conclusion of that issue is because he's a citizen just like me just like you but for him to stand on the highest mountaintop and talk about oh this is this is the army again he's doing what he's always done is to exaggerate to augment to 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 make it to, to just make unnecessary noise for the sake of the noise. And then he, now he's on a new trajectory. Now he's saying, they want to kill me. Oh, these people want to kill me. They want to do me in. They want to put a bullet through my head. But here's the question. For what? Why would they kill you? Or why would they want to kill you? Who are you? You're just a guy on Facebook. Who are you to say they want to? Why would the Zambia army, Baten Temuka, the Zambia army descends to come and kill you? And, and I, I said it the other day and I'll say it again. You know, Tehali sometimes he's so disingenuous. I mean, he's just such a dweeb. The other day he says, you know, in, in narrating the story, <laughs> he says, you know, the army came in, but boy, I tell you, I started shooting in the air. And the moment I shot in the air, boy, I tell you, they, they hurried out of there. They left. They fled. So you're telling me that the Zambia army, the security wing of this nation, a security wing that presides over the safety and sanctity of 20 million people. Zambia army, the entire strength of the armed forces of Zambia. When they went to get you, you fired a pistol and they fled. Well, ain't that a pickle? Well, you know what that means, don't you? It means if they can't, if the Zambia army can't get you, how in the H-E double hockey sticks are they going to protect this nation? That's my question. You care to answer? I don't think you can. You know why? Because it's ridiculous. It's foolish. It is his attempt at creating a storm in a teacup. Let me lastly say, in conclusion, let me say this. You know, his, <laughs> the, the, this is the final straw, honestly, really. And if it isn't the final straw, it should be the final straw. The long litany of things that this young man has done and said, it, it has become incrementally worse. You know that phrase, incrementally worse? You know, a few years ago it was Vespas, then in Sama, now the army, what next? And, and, and it's all done for self-aggrandizement. The end is near nobody wants to kill him nsama nsama's blood cries out for justice everything that is coming to this young man is self 
imposed, self-inflicted. Do not be deceived. He is not a victim. He is the provocateur. His luck has run out. He has come to the end of his rope. He has given himself enough rope to hang himself. His comeuppance has finally arrived. And that, my brothers and sisters, as the Americans say, is how the cookie crumbled. Now, some of you may 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 think, no, if they arrest Ali, Bwana, the moment they arrest him and his end is near, all of you guys that make noise on Facebook, you're going to go about your lives. You're going to go about your daily business. The earth is not going to stop rotating on its axis when Tayali is arrested. The sun will still come up in the morning when he's arrested. You will still go to the bathroom at 12.45 in the morning if he's arrested. The earth will not cease to exist if he's arrested. So get it out of your minds that something seismic is going to happen if and when they get rid of him. Nothing like that will happen. Everything that is coming his way is self-imposed, self-inflicted, and it is, it is his comeuppance. The word of God says it this way. You reap what you sow. Boom. Did you catch that? Did you hear that? Self-inflicted. Self-inflicted. Ken says, go deeper. Tell he's a danger to this nation. I've been saying that for years. I've been saying that for years. And, and <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, and, and Let's not take it lightly. This thing is getting incrementally worse. Incrementally. And he has to be cautioned. He does. He has to understand that he lives under the same umbrella of rules that everybody else does. All righty. Thought I'd share that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Your champions, every last one of you. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.